Welcome to Blue Zoo Animation Studio. Here, lots of people come together to bring their skills and create something very special, an animation. Here at Blue Zoo, we create several TV shows like Number Blocks, Digby Dragon and Go Jetters. Today, we're going to show you how these get made. Script. A script writer writes the scripts. When making any TV show, we must start with the words. An animation is no different. We work with script writers to develop the story, which must have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Script writers imagine new, exciting stories, then write the scripts with the right balance of humour and drama. Designs Everything in animation needs to be designed from scratch, from the characters to props, cars and worlds. This is all done by concept artists. This is a very creative job for someone with amazing drawing skills. Storyboard the storyboard artist reads scripts and draws a quick sketch of how each shot looks to plan out the actions for the animator. A storyboarder does very speedy sketches and must have a good eye for cinematography. Cinematography is where the camera looks, how the lighting falls and where the props are. In other words, how you see the scene on your TV. Modelling All objects and characters in a 3D animation need to be made. This is done by modellers and then coloured by texturing artists. Modellers need a good understanding of how big things and people are. Texture artists need great digital art skills. Rigging the rigger puts bones into a 3D character model to allow animators to control, twist and position the character so the animators can bring them to life. Riggers need a mix of technical and creative skills. They must also understand how the human or animal body works. Animation Animators make the movement happen. They bring the character to life, acting out performances according to the storyboard's instructions. They move the 3D character models like puppets on the stage. It's very good for an animator to understand acting, timing and staging. They must also have a passion for telling stories. Lighting and compositing In lighting and compositing, we add the final look of the animation, adjusting the colour between different parts that make up the shot. We also add special effects that need to go on top. Magical sparkles, for example, are added after the scene is animated. But wait! We also need... Sound! The final step is sound. An editor will add all the voices from the actors, the sound effects and the music. The sound helps to shape the final story. Music can help you understand how a character is feeling. For example, if you add sad music, you know it's a sad scene. we are. Eight steps to making an animation. It's a complicated process, but now you know the different roles and the skills needed to do it. Could you one day make an animation? Thanks for watching. Goodbye from us at Blue Zoo.